Okay, students, uh, as you know, my name is Patrick Keogh. I am your professor for uh, this online art course. And what I want to do today is uh, show you exactly how to insert an art image into your discussion board post. Uh, this is a very important requirement for the class. We can't talk about art and we can't discuss the dynamics and history of art without looking at imagery. I really don't want you to, to attach the image because you can't really see it. You have to open it up in a separate browser. So I want you to insert the image directly into your post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen share video and show you exactly how to go about this. I know some of you have figured this out, but some of you are still not really sure how to go about it. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and screen share um, in this video and take you through it step by step. So here we go. Okay. First off, uh, you should be able to see the uh, discussion board. And uh, this is an art appreciation course for uh, Fayetteville. Uh, you might be in the art survey course or you might be uh, at another school, but the bottom line is this, this new version of Blackboard uh, has a few little glitches in it. And um, before I go into the imagery and putting the pictures in, just uh, one sidebar. Uh, up at the top left, there's new, a new icon in the browser for Firefox, and as we know, Firefox is... Uh, probably the best browser for Blackboard. Um, and I'm not really happy with this icon because what it does is it uh, doesn't let us view the YouTube videos that I have throughout my class. So you have to click that icon and um, you have to click it and unblock disable protection for the page. And what that will do is allow you to see uh, all the videos that I have placed for you uh, in the course. Those videos are very important because they really complement and supplement the material. Okay, so that's a little sidebar. Let's now go to the uh, discussion board. All right, let's go to the discussion board over here, discussion board. All right, and this first week uh, we're just familiarizing ourselves with the course Blackboard. I'm going to click that, go into the course. All right, and uh, let's create, the first thing you're going to do is create a new thread. When you're making your first post, that's essentially answering the question, the discussion board question, whether that be about cave paintings, whether that be about the early Renaissance. Uh, whatever the discussion topic is, you're going to write a mini essay response and you're going to incorporate uh, art imagery, whether that be one, two, three uh, pictures, artworks, cave paintings, Egyptian tomb paintings, whatever the conversation's about, you want to find pictures of art that relate to your post. Okay, so step one, and I'm going to go slow here. Uh, step one, we're going to click create thread. Create thread. Okay, and let me bring your attention uh, specifically to the button here. All right. It's called Insert Editing um, Image. Insert Edit Image. It's the third row down, uh, three icons over, directly on the right of the uh, paper clip. Okay, so I'm going to give this a, a title. I'm going to call this uh, Inserting Pictures. All right, now. What you would do is you would type up your discussion board post, or you could type it up in a uh, Word and paste it into your into the box. If you do that, you're going to have to click your HTML button, 
and then you would paste your post in there and then you would hit update all right but we're specifically going to um, go and look for an image so with that said we have two options uh, you can download images from the web to your computer that's one way but I suggest the really quick way and that is to go to Google and grab the URL of the image and drop it directly in okay so you would click on this button and at the top left you see where it says uh, image URL and now unfortunately uh, the software program that I'm using to do this demonstration is not showing uh, the pop-up menu so what I'm gonna do uh, let's see if I can get that up there no it is not showing it let me see if I can get it in the screen share let's see if I can see it because it's a new window now yes that's the problem okay let me go there you'll just have to bear with me um, now you should see now you should see up here all right image URL that's where you're gonna paste the image that you get from Google images okay and then you would give it a, a name uh, tomb painting cave painting uh, a title if you want and then you would click insert okay so let's go ahead now what I'm gonna have to do is open up a second browser window I'm going to open up a second browser window and I'm going to go to Google Images. I'm going to go to Google, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to share my screen again, a different screen. Bear with me. All right, we got to share the screen again, screen share, and we're going to go back to screen share, and I'm going to take you to Google Images, and now you should see the Google page, okay? And I just typed in Egyptian art. So say, uh, say we're talking about Egyptian art. So you would type in Egyptian art, and you would hit search. And I'm going to hit at the top. At the top, it says images. Images. I'm going to hit images. And I've got lots of pictures that I can choose from to incorporate into my post. Now, uh, please, uh, if you see a copyright, if you see any copyright information across the image, where it actually says copyright written or uh, or that type of thing do not use it okay these images are old pictures of art you can use them let's go ahead and use um, this one right here okay we're gonna use uh, this one right here so what you have to do is click on it and once you click on it you're going to see on the right where it says view original image. This is important. So I'm going to click on view original image. Now the image is in its own browser window. Now I can grab the URL. I'm going to copy the, the web address, the URL. I'm copying that. And now we can go back to the class I'm gonna to have to go back to screen share and I'm gonna to have to go back to the discussion board alright okay I'm back in the discussion board and unfortunately I lost my my thread so I'm just gonna click another one okay so now I'm back in my thread and I have the image URL on the desktop on my desktop so I'm gonna put test image 
and I'm going to click this little button and like I showed you earlier it says image URL you can't see it because of the way I've set up this screen video but um, act, let me just show you one more time just so we don't just so we're clear alright you should see at the top left image URL all right, we're going to paste that. We're going to paste that. If I can find it. Picture. All right. And I'm going to put Egyptian tomb painting. Uh, Egyptian art and now I can click appearance up here and I can uh, change the size of the image okay you can do that um, or you can change the size of the image uh, in um, in the um, dialog box. So we're going to go back to the dialog box. Okay, now you should see the picture is now located in the box, the posting box. Alright, now you've got more options here. I can click on the picture and I can make it a little smaller if I like. And then, of course, I can type and I can continue typing. And then, once I do, I can hit submit. I can hit submit. And let's see what you're seeing. There's test image. So let me open that up for you. And there, voila, is the image. So that's the quickest way to do it. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, you can also download, save, right click, save as, drop it on your desktop, put it in a folder, and you can upload it essentially the same way I just went through it uh, but you have to browse your computer first this is the easiest way to go and I really do want to see the images in the posts and not attached and not uh, put into a word document this way we can there's so many people posting you want to see things immediately so I hope this little video has been helpful and uh, let me get out here I hope this video has been helpful. I really want everybody in this class to succeed in the class. It's not a difficult class. Uh, each week we have uh, a discussion. The discussion board is our classroom. I will be engaged. I'm asking you to be engaged. The, the discussion board is where the learning occurs. The quizzes are compliments. The quizzes, I basically give you three shots at the quiz. It's basically about learning new terminology about art and learning some things about the chapters. But the discussion board, that's where the action is. That's where the learning is occurring. So um, I'm looking forward to con uh, being your guide on this journey. And uh, hopefully this little video answered your questions about inserting pictures into your posts. See you on the discussion board.